Hi everyone, I am hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how you can actually create the OAuth 2.0 app with the Facebook and actually how you can get the app credentials and bind those credentials and actually build the authorization URI and get the authorization code. Okay. In today's session, we will learn how you can actually exchange that authorization code and get the access and refresh tokens. So for that, we first need to stop this API. I am just going to stop that. Okay, and then we need to build the handler regarding exchange the authorization code to get the access token. Okay, so for that you need to first install package. If you are also using Node.js, then you need to install npm i access. Okay, package is installed successfully. Now you just need to import that package. So we will say access and we need to fire access okay and inside the redirect handler we need to build a get request and we will exchange the authorization code which we have uh, got from this authorization url and we will get the access token okay so now let's start to build the request so here we say const data and we need to also set async here and then we need to set await need to call access here we first need to set the URL. So the URL will be https graph.facebook.com slash the version number. Okay, so we need to copy this environment variable from here and we need to paste that here and then OAuth and then you need to set the access token. Okay, access token. At the end, you need to set the four different type of a query parameters with this URL. Okay, four different query parameters will be first one will be the client ID. Okay, second one will be the client secret. Okay, third one will be redirect URI, and the last one is authorization code as a code. Okay, so you can see we have a code also, and we have already set uh, all three environment variables inside the dot env file. Okay, so now let's bind those here so we need to use a string interpolation and we need to copy and paste the environment variables so we need to copy this one need to say it here we need to name that client id okay and here we need to call process dot env and we need to paste and we also need to set redirect url we will copy that from here okay and then we also need to bind the client secret and we need to paste that the reader qri and we need to copy the client secret variable name okay and we need to replace this okay and at the end, we need to set the code, authorization code, okay, by setting the param name called code, okay. So we need to set here code. And then we need to set here method, method will be gate, and then we need to bind response. Here we need to return response, and we need to bind gate, okay. So we say error, return error. So there is a type of mistake, error. Okay. And then we need to return back data. Need to format the code. Okay. And we have already exported that and redirect binded here. We just need to place a breakpoint here and here. Okay. Now let's just start the API once again npm start now get back to the browser and here we need to call localhost 44000 slash api facebook authorized and you can see we have uh, data and inside the data you can see we have access token okay so i'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section Either you can share your queries and suggestions by my share contact details. Hopefully, we will come back with another session. Take care. Bye-bye.